Welcome to the first episode of Richard's Tech Talks. In these episodes, we're going to cover some of the more technical aspects of setting up and maintaining the boat. Hope you enjoy. Um, but there are three real components to do the installation of the instruments. Um, the first one is a physical one. So that's installing the instruments in their locations. Uh, so some of that on the mast was done by Sailing Atlantic Services, who put the radar on and the wind instruments. Um, and they also did the cabling down from those instruments uh, that I needed as well. Uh, and they, the VHF antenna on top of the mast. Uh, sometimes the physical installation is pretty easy. Um, it's just uh, screwing uh, them into a bulkhead. Um, I've got a compass that's behind the saloon seats. Um, so that sort of installation is pretty easy. Some of it's a bit scary uh, because I've got to cut things out. So in the cockpit, um, I've um, cut out for the multifunction display uh, on the starboard side at the moment and some other instruments on the back of the uh, cockpit table up there. Uh, that's where I've got to cut through the fiberglass and um, make a, a hole to mount the equipment in. Uh, not too difficult, it's just <laughs> if you get it wrong, you have to do a little bit of work on your hands. So that's the physical installation. The second part is the network installation. Now the boat did actually come with a network and the network is uh, like any communication network is for all the instruments to talk to each other uh, so that the transducers and etc that measure the wind and the speed through the water um, can uh, provide the data into the other instruments that are consuming it, like the multifunction display that shows it on the charts. Uh, so, had this uh, system in. Uh, this is a, a Sea Talk system. Um, for all intents and purposes, exactly uh, the same as what I've put in, uh, but they lovely they don't have a, a standard way of doing this and so they have their own standard their own set of connectors doesn't fit in my instruments I could have done adapters but that gets pretty expensive so I had to run a network cable uh, the network cable runs from the front of the boat uh, where I've got the uh, speed and depth transducer and also where the wind instruments come down from the, the mast uh, to the you know, down the port side uh, and around the back of the boat picking up the multifunction displays and the instruments across the back of the boat. So what's the backbone? So the backbone is essentially, this is a curled up bit of backbone cable. Um, so just some connectors at the end of the backbone it has a terminator that goes on to the backbone and uh, we have one of those at each end. And then when we want to put an instrument in place uh, we have these little T connectors and we run a drop cable from the T connector so we have backbone cable and backbone cable and a drop cable comes off here um, and then that just runs to the instrument and that uh, plugs into the instrument. Uh, so there are some places where I might want uh, more than uh, one thing uh, you can put a couple of these uh, little T connectors in together or um, I've also got uh, these sort of similar four-way connectors as well uh, at different parts around the boat. Uh, from the top of the mast I've also got a coaxial cable that runs an antenna on the top of the mast. The antenna is used for uh, VHF radio which I've got here and my VHF radio also has an AIS so that's automatic identification system uh, with it. Um, I won't explain what that is right now, but uh, maybe sometime later. Uh, also, it does the um, AM and FM radio uh, once we get a stereo installed as well. So then we need to get power to the instruments and um, there are some of the smaller instruments and they just actually pick their power up from the network itself, so the backbone cable. And they get it by um, they're plugging one of these into the backbone and then this side over here uh, has a positive and negative uh, that runs and powers the backbone and that provides enough power for a lot of the smaller instruments. The larger instruments require their own power to be run to them so I've had to run power cables here from the main distribution point um, behind the nav station here. Um, 
to the back of the boat mainly to run my multifunction displays. Um, my autopilot uh, also powers the radar. Um, even though the radar is up the top of the mast, the cable runs all the way through to the back to the multifunction display, which is where I've got to power it from. Well, welcome to what's been my office for the last couple of hours. Um, I'm in the port quarter of the boat. Not a recommended uh, leisure area. Here's all the cables we've just pulled through. I've just put this uh, cable wrap around them all. Uh, so this is for the power for the port helm over here. And then the cables run uh, through the other side of the boat. One coming here for the radar. And uh, this is the radar cable, so those all connect together to get power to the radar. Uh, this is the data cable for the radar, so that's got to go to the other side of the boat once we get an extension. Um, so that was quite a mission to pull that cable all the way through um, as well. So when I say power, it's just 12 volts. Uh, we have four batteries underneath the floor um, and they provide all the power. The, the main uh, connections to the batteries are actually behind me in the port cabin here. Um, and so we had to, I had to run the power up from there uh, in the behind here. And because we don't want all the instruments running all the time, uh, we have a, a, the small key up here that um, turns the electronics on and off. Um, so I had to set this up so that the switch on the dashboard here would actually turn the power on and off to my distribution point for uh, all the power for my uh, instruments or electronics. So needless to say that was a bit of work um, but it was uh, worth it. I think I found every nook and cranny on the boat and know how to open up every little cubby hole and space and behind uh, at the cupboards. So uh, if there's any issues in the future I will uh, certainly have first hand knowledge of where everything is and how it operates so that's good. Um, I haven't put everything in yet, we've only put in the things that we need to do to our first voyage which is our multifunction display at the helm so we can see our charts. Um, our speed and depth transducer, uh, our wind instruments at the top so we can see direction and speed and the, and the compass. And that's all we really need for our first sail. Everything else I'll just work on um, over the next few weeks.